a town located in the Uttar Kannada district of Karnataka is a culturally, spiritually, aesthetically enriched place where the mighty Agnashini joins the Arabian Sea. Surrounded by Western Ghats, Gokarna, Yana, Dandeli, Murdeshwar are nearby tourist places to Kumta. Fishery sector is the sunrise sector which is direct source of livelihood to more than 20 million fishermen and fish farmers. Various fisheries resources like rivers, reservoirs, estuaries and tanks provide many livelihood opportunities to millions of fishermen. Estuaries are highly productive, dynamic and unique ecosystem providing food, transport, recreation and other activities. Estuaries provide predominant role in socio-economic of the coast by providing valuable resources. This is the story of an estuary which provides plenty of resources and livelihood opportunities to the people. Agnashini estuary itself is a unique biodiversity and productivity due to rich mangrove vegetation. The rich water carries large quantities of organic materials from the forest in the catchment area of Western Ghats. The rich biodiversity of 120 species present in this estuary contributes to the nutrient cycle through plant and nitrogen rich castings. The only way to reach Tadri village is through a ferry boat which starts from banks of Agnashini. Kumta has 22 gram panchayats in which Gokarna harbors 2,350 fishermen and Holanagadde is home to 1,700 active fishermen. Agnashini gram panchayat has 2,155 fishermen in which 1,140 are active fishermen. There are 259 registered mechanized boats, around 970 motorized and 1,773 non-mechanized boats. Another fishing activity carried in Agnashini village is of salted and dried fish. This activity is carried out in Tadri village which is close to Agnashini estuary. A dry fish market is situated in Tadri village. A total of 460 fishermen family is involved in dry fishing business. Majority of fish species for drying includes mackerel, sardine, threadfin beam and other commercially important fishes of the region. 1150 people are involved in drying fish in Tadri village. The total monthly average income is 5,500. Bivalve harvesting is the most important aspect of a small-scale informal fisheries of Kumta coast, an activity traditionally carried out by people from non-fishing community for the family, food security and sale. Bivalve collection provides direct employment opportunities to 2,347 people of which 1,738 collectors are men and 609 are women. Collectors belong to 19 estuarine villages and congregates in mudflat closer to Agnashini village. The villages like Agnashini, Devgi, Gokarna and Torke villages have majority of clam collectors. Pafia Malbarika is the most common in Agnashini estuary, followed by Catilatia opaima and Meritrix meritrix. Parna viridis is the only edible muzzle found in Agnashini. The Crassostria species forms a bed in the Agnashini estuary. Usually women extract the meat by opening the oyster shell using knife. Clam collection is usually done in the lower tide 
women and men works 8 hours a day to collect the clams and sell it in the market of kumta and agnashini by women let us brief you about the conflicts in agnashini estuary due to which the clam availability declined sand mining was started in 2014 in agnashini region which altered the estuarine bed and gradual decline in clam availability protests by villagers and religious institutions stopped sand mining and court orders completely banned clam collection in 2017 clam collection was again started in 2020 and only 200 to 300 clam collectors were involved due to less clam availability and majority of them were women On average they are getting 5 to 10 baskets equal to 300 rupees but most of them use collected clams for consumption only few sell in the agnashini market clam collection is a tedious process women need to bend for 8 hours continuously to collect clams that too without any gloves or gum shoes so as a result they have many incisions on their fingers and also there is a risk of entry of small glass pieces in their foot government can provide gloves and gum shoes to these economically distressed women as protective measures Fishermen around this region are also dependent on Ghazni lands. These lands were originally known as Midla Ghazni, where the salt-tolerant kaga rice was cultivated alongside natural fish farming around the estuary. Now submerged, the land is an intertidal zone of the Agnashini estuary, consisting of mud flats and mangroves. A total of 3,000 acres of Ghazni land are present around the region. Presently only 7 ghajni are being utilized for shrimp farming. It is very important to study the ecology, economy and social aspects of Agnashini estuary to safeguard the natural habitat of hundreds of fish species and livelihood of fishermen family. <laughs>